some serious business. Looking at the aquarium. Whoa! So there's some, there's some big mammoths in there. It's a good drift. That'll get a fish. Eat it. Fish on! It's a big one, too. There's another one. Got him good, too. Oh, good jumper! Normal day. I'll tell you what, man, this feels like snow, not rain. In Northern California, on the Oregon border, the Smith River is the last undammed wild river in California that still flows free to the sea and has a large run of wild steelhead. This jewel runs out of the rugged Siskiyou and Klamath Mountains, the only ranges in North America that run east to west. This spectacular area has the highest density of plant life, including forests of Sitka spruce and rare Port Orford cedar. Many types of geology, plants, and animals are found nowhere else on Earth. It's also unique because during the last ice age, the Smith River area remained ice-free. Flora and fauna died off elsewhere in North America, but survived here. And when the ice retreated, this remarkable region regenerated all the forests from Alaska to Montana. Out of these mountains, the Smith River flows undammed fed by creeks and waterfalls. The Smith gains in power, cutting into bedrock, creating awesome gorges, and emerald green pools as clear as any on Earth. They run through giant primeval redwoods. Flows average five feet deep and 200 cubic feet per second until winter storms commence. Then the river can rise quickly and dangerously to a staggering 29 feet and over 40,000 cubic feet per second at flood stage. Even the most experienced whitewater guides have perished on this river. When the river rises, wild winter steelhead are still faithfully called home from the Pacific to spawn up this untamed river. Top fly fishing skills are required to hook much less catch these exceptionally large, hard-fighting steelhead. This is our quest, as well as to learn about the last wild river in California.